Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're watching Dante's 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 Boxing Nation. Dante's 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 Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation over here, my man Malik Scott. What's going on, man? I'm chilling, man. Just being an odd guy down here supporting my brother Deontay Wilder. He's fighting a guy that I have a lot of respect for, Chris Ariola. It's a great fight. I love it. And uh, they're going to do fireworks Saturday. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, what you got lined up, Malik? I'm trying to, I still want to fight guys like Antonio Tarver. Um, they, I heard they're about to do a WBC tournament with me, Tarver, and a, and a few other heavyweights. It's going to be like 12 overs. They're going to do an elimination thing. So if I can't get that, man, I just want the biggest name. There's no secret I want Anthony Joshua, David Hay, or Luis Ortiz. So those are fights I want. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I, I remember, man, with you being undefeated, yeah. it was a time where you were the most athletic heavyweight. Yeah, 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 I was bro. telling everybody about you. Right, you know, you was like a, a welterweight, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a heavyweight's body right. with the reflexes and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you transition into more of a heavyweight, a traditional yeah. heavyweight, or, or, or are you bringing that back? I still, that, that original I, I still, undefeated Malik Scott. I still have the natural reflexes, the natural speed. And um, but what I did do is I settled down in my style. Like you know what I mean? I'm throwing punches with a lot more force and bad yeah. intentions. I'm not. I would never be a brawler, come forward, or tour guy the type of guy. That's not my identity. I'm a smooth boxer. I'm slick. I'm very agile. You know, I'm the best skill heavyweight on planet Earth. Okay, that's yeah. what it is, man. Yeah. But we look forward to seeing you in your next fight, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, bro. So let me ask you, Malik, real quick yeah, yeah. about some of the trending topics, man. What do you think about the love can fight now, Kel Brook? And what do you think about that Kel fight? Kel Brook is one of the best pure boxers in the world. And, you know, I'm a fan of the art. So Kel Brook, in that case, is one of my favorite fighters. But as far as him fighting GGG, I think it's too much of a big step too early with no good preparation. So obviously, I'm going to go with GGG in that. But I'm pulling for uh, Kel Brook. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. And when it comes to your boy, uh, Deontay Wilder, uh, how does that play out? Wilder against Ariola? I think I think if this was, I, I, I have mixed feelings about the fight. Obviously, I want Deontay to win, and I believe he's going to win. But I know Ariola and the capabilities he has even bringing to a fight when he's not in that good of a shape. And my logic is a little different than most. That's why they call me the odd guy, because I really believe that Ariola fights better out of shape than he does in shape. Uh -huh. And right now, he weighs a good, like, 250-something pounds. His neck is thick, so he, he, he has the quality in the body to be able to take some of the shots. But we're going to see how many of because, you know, this kid, Deontay Wilder, you know, he's special. He got special power. Yeah. I felt it with 20-ounce gloves on. We all know I felt it with 10-ounce gloves on. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm pulling for Deontay. I think he's going to win, and I think he's going to win explosively. Okay. Yeah. And, Malik, who would you say, in, in contrast or comparison to Deontay Wilder, who matches up with him the best right now in the heavyweight division? You got Anthony Joshua. I, you, 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 you gotta go with the Joshua's and Furies and stuff like that, the other giants. Uh -huh. like, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But this is a heavyweight division, man, because you, you you can have a, a number 20 rated guy come and give you your best fight. And then yeah. and you'll blow a number two guy right out there. So, you know, that's the exciting thing about the heavyweight division. I don't even consider boxing and the heavyweight division is two totally different things, too. It's like, I, I don't consider the heavyweight division just another weight class in boxing. You got boxing, then you got the heavyweight division. And in that case, any man can win. And anybody can be clipped. So we'll see, man. It's, it's turning out good, though. I like the state that it's in right now, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So big things coming. But Deontay is the man with the power, so right now he's ruling the tower. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's what it is. Y'all heard it from the league. Scott, anything else you want to say to the fans, man? Yeah, I need to meet the girl that walks on the long hallway that you have. <laughs> Salute to Dante Boxman. I support you, man. I'm happy I was able to do this interview. Um, you always got my views and anything you're doing, man, a salute. I Brian appreciate Brian. it. I appreciate it, brother. And, and which one is you talking about, Brianna? <laughs> is she brown skin? Yeah, yeah, kind of light brown skin. Yeah. But you always got some baddies. So I would go in the room with your girls and say, who likes me? It's not even about who I like. Whichever one of them pick me, I'm good with it. <laughs> my man, Malik Scott. Good looking, man. Yeah, bro. All right, man. Take Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.